product selection in CPQ can be done in multiple ways. This is the catalog which consists of all the different products and services available to quote or purchase. The catalog is organized by categories and as many categories and subcategories can be created to define any kind of hierarchical structure needed. To help browse the catalog and find the right product, there are different catalog views. We are looking at the tabular view which presents images and descriptions of the categories and products. The list view will list all the products and services available along with additional information and I can quickly sort or search by any of these fields. The collapsible tree navigation is available in both views so a user can jump around between categories easily. Description and part number searches are also available. Additionally, products can be found through guided selling needs analysis. This criteria driven search helps you find the right product based on the needs of the customer. To find out more information on this feature, watch the e-commerce and catalog demo. To add one or more products to your quote or shopping cart, just check them off in the catalog and click Add to Quote. Products can also be customized using a configurator engine where the user selects from questions presented in order to customize a product and or select additional options. For more information on the configurator, watch the configuration demo. If something in the configuration is not unclear or need help with the configuration, I can click the Ask an Expert link and send a question to a product expert. The correct product selection is then ensured through social media-like collaboration. For more information on this feature, watch the collaborative and social selling demo. This is the quote view, which acts as a worksheet for the sales users or partners. Here, they can add, remove, and edit products in the quote, rearrange the order, and mark products as optional for recommendation to the customer. A simplified version of this shopping cart can be used by your customers. The user is also reminded of any bundles, promotions, or related products that can be applied to the products added to the quote. At the top of the screen is a message stating that one of these offers is available for the quote. Clicking the link gives me more details. For more information on this feature, be sure to watch the upselling and cross-selling demo. I can also apply bi-directional discounts if my permissions allow. Applying discounts affects the margin health indicator, which allows the user to see where the margin lies without seeing any actual cost or gross margin values. Of course, certain users, such as approvers, can be allowed to see the exact cost and margin. While applying discounts, the system ensures that I keep within my discount limitations. If I violate any rules, such as exceeding a discount, going beyond minimum margin threshold, selecting non-standard terms, etc., then the quote will need to be submitted for approval. For more information on discounts and approvals, Watch the approvals demo. Any additional information can be captured at the quote level, such as terms, project name, or expiration date. Of course, the administrator can create any number of fields to be displayed here. This information can then be passed to downstream systems if necessary. After providing customer information, I am ready to generate a customer-facing document. I'll click the Generate Quote button, then select a template. The different templates available could be a simple quote, contract, or detailed proposal. Since templates are defined and managed by the administrator of the tool through Microsoft Word files, there can be as many templates available as are required 
and they can be as complex or as simple as needed. For more information on what is possible, watch the comprehensive proposal demo. After generating the document, I can download and save the file, as we see here, or I can email the file from the tool. I can also define whether I'd like to attach the generated document to this email, or I can include a link in the email that takes the customer back to the tool where they can download the document and make comments. The second option is probably better as it gets around any inbox size limitations for very large proposals. Also, as a salesperson, I am notified as soon as my customer accesses the quote so I can time my follow-up. For more information on this feature, watch the Customer Quote Collaboration and Acceptance Demo. If the customer responds back to me and asks for changes, I can easily pull up this existing quote and make revisions, then resend an updated quote. Customers can also be enabled to make changes themselves, further encouraging engagement, collaboration, and transparency. If the customer accepts the quote, then I can convert this quote to an order by simply clicking Place Order. This action can pass quote data to an external system such as an ERP or send an email to order management for order fulfillment. For more information on this process, watch the order management demo. This has been the WebSource CPQ Overview. Feel free to contact us at sales at webcominc.com. Thank you 